Hi guys, my name is Murgeta Yelio. Today I will show you how to layer stacking and clipping or subsetting study area using Invay software from Landsat Mids. If you are new for this channel, please like and subscribe it. Uh, in order to perform this activity, you have to be, uh, give an attention for it and follow step-by-step uh, -step procedures. After that, you can do it uh, simply without error. First, uh, you have to be uh, in VI software, in VI stands for environment for uh, visualizing images, that is a simple image analysis uh, software. Then click uh, in VI software, then open. This is the interface or the thumbnail of uh, the NVI software. The software is already open. Uh, this is the general uh, interface of this software. Here it is file, edit, display, uh, place markers, views, and help, and the other ones are active and inactive are uh, here. Thus, inactive uh, uh, icons are uh, active after the required files are open from these windows. Then, open uh, the required bundles from uh, our folder by default uh, I took it that is uh, zero in the path of uh, my state area how to be select in my case uh, zero is 169 and sorry the path is uh, 169 and zero is uh, 52 then select it Then after select uh, the required bands from this uh, Landsat image, that is band 1, band 2, band 3, band 4, band 5, uh, band 6, band 7. Those are enough for this activity. Then click open. Exit uh, all those bands are displayed from here, and uh, those must be in full extent format. And then go to uh, toolbox and write layer layer stacking layer stacking. Here it is, layer stacking is opened and then uh, double click on layer stacking. These uh, information are here, this layer stacking parameter format and the output map uh, projection <coughs> have, sorry, have its own information. This is arbitrary, geography, latitude, and longitude, region, and so on. Then import. Uh, the, the selected files that is from band 1 to uh, band 7 then select all when selecting this uh, this bandes this the general information are displayed here and then uh, click ok uh, after this the datum is uh, wgs1984 and then the unit is meter and uh, the Landsat image zone is 37 zone, that is uh, in northern direction, and the pixel size or the resolution value is uh, 30 meter by 30 meter. 
user information start here then then go to uh, choose and choose uh, and create uh, your folder here it is uh, test test one I can say it is the one or other folder names then uh, give the output name that is layer layer stacking then click open click open then after click ok this is the process of layer stacking next uh, we can use uh, sub setting or uh, clipping the steady area using uh, shape file. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, the layer stacking is displayed on this uh, windows and go to the data manager. Click data manager. and uh, we have to check uh, whether it is here or not layer stacking and remove other unwanted uh, individual funds and click click each individual step by step Okay, already removed unwanted bundles from here, and uh, the only is a layer stacking, and then uh, select uh, the visible bundles for Landsat 8 images, that is 432, click for 3 and 2, then load, click load. Okay, uh, this is only uh, individual band and this is uh, the required three bands that is for 32. So it is uh, better than the first one. This is more visible. It is more visible. After this, uh, open the study area shape files open or add steady area shape file in order to subset or clip it then go to where you are getting uh, this shape file from your folder and then select here uh, in order to remove application the shape file then uh, this is my shape file so uh, it is my shape file in order to clip it and go to subsets 
subset double click on it and select uh, layer stacking that is uh, this is layer stacking select and when we are selected the information are displayed from uh, this uh, window and then uh, go to ok and select this uh, shape file uh, from the selected input uh, region of interest then select the number of items selected this is one that is Kumara uh, boundary shape file and masking pixels output of the region of interest that is uh, it must be yes and uh, the background value must be zero then uh, go to uh, save go to save from our working area folders uh, that is uh, test one we can say the uh, study area or subsetting or clipping or clipped or subsetted or simply study area then open and then click ok already done uh, we can uh, check and uncheck it uh, sorry here it is one band only that is band one in order to uh, display the required bands for landsat image uh, go to data manager and uh, study area here and select the relevant band that visible band for landsat 8 is 432 click for 3 and 2 and then after selecting this bands click load uh, this is the difference between 1 and 2 this is all uh, visible bands are displayed here and but from this there is only <coughs> one band uh, so we have removed it and uh, display with the shape file that is boundary red color and there is uh, a black background of this uh, study area uh, raster files so in order to remove this uh, black background go to the uh, raster management or simply remove it and go to uh, raster management is here and then uh, click on edit NVA header then double click on it then select the area go to ok And here are uh, some information about this uh, displayed images, but there is no uh, ignore value that must be zero. So we can add uh, this value and click add. Uh, then uh, click on uh, data ignore value and then ok more information about this landsat image or some study area uh, must be displayed up to <coughs> data ignore value 
then give the value 0 and then click OK then click OK sorry here it is 0 uh, and then OK Okay. Then when the uh, background is removed, and then uh, here it is only uh, go to the uh, data manager and select uh, four three two and load. Then. Okay. So it is displayed from here. This boundary is a rectangular boundary uh, in order to show the steady area that shape file when it is removed. There is no uh, so after this uh, we can uh, do uh, post processing of Landsat images or uh, land land cover change classification or steady area detail analysis we can do after this uh, steady area clipping or subsetting thank you very much